Did I enjoy my life visiting Chernobyl? After many videos that draw my life, he has decided to travel to Chernobyl. The Ukrainian tourist agency explained, to us that requests to visit the Chernobyl area have increased since the government authorized visits in the area in 2010. The day the visit started at 7 in the morning. The bus came for us to cover the 120 kilometers that separated us from Kiev to Chernobyl. Once we got there, he gave each one on the team some crowds with a number that would allow us to be identified in the radiation control once we finished the visit. When we arrived in the area, we hoped to find a chart in an inhabited desert land. But to our surprise, it wasn't like that. The workers of the plant continue working in that area, and the church is still standing where they still receive visitors. Needless to say, the guide explained to us that about 200 people still live in the area, even though the government has ordered them to leave. They refuse to leave their home. Chernobyl's landscape is made up of abandoned buildings that fall to pieces invaded by vegetation. The Ferris wheel in the amusement park, which was never inaugurated, has become an icon of Chernobyl. Doris did not stop taking photos. We tried to avoid the glass and debris that surround us to avoid any harm. Everywhere there are remnants of life that its inhabitants had to abandon. Dextrox ancient masks and hundreds of items that families couldn't take with them. Bushes spread from all corners. They are the most radioactive plants on the planet. A litter of puppies appears. They don't let us touch them. They are too radioactive. Touching them has serious consequences. We have to get away from them. The temptation to pet them is very strong. Everything is very bleak. In mid-afternoon, we return to the base, and we pass the radiation control. The emergency alarm goes off. I have tested positive for high radiation. Is that possible? Yes, I got too close to those dogs. It's possible I touched one. The employees take everyone out of the room and dress in anti-radiation suits that they proceed to decontaminate me. A month after the visit, I feel strange. I don't know if it has anything to do with my incident with the dogs. Would you dare to visit Chernobyl? Tell us in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video.